So what I have here is an original Z series from uh, Zildjian 24 inch heavy power ride. And to say this thing is heavy is a big understatement. Uh, this is probably, no, definitely the heaviest symbol I've ever owned. Uh, it, best I could tell is it weighs 6,400 grams. And I say it that way because uh, my scale only goes up to 14 pounds. And uh, this is more than that. So I actually had to step on another scale with the symbol and then without and then uh, do the subtraction. Uh, and that scale only goes in 100 gram in, uh, increments. So it's definitely 6,400, but no more than 6,500. But anyway, I mean, this is two feet of massive bronze. Uh, this, the original Z series, uh, totally unlathed. The only lathing I can see is one line that goes around the back here. And uh, it has uh, machine hammering. And you can notice all these, uh, these little marks here. Uh, there were four different kinds of machine hammering on the original Z series. Uh, but there's actually no other kind of hammering, no hand hammering or anything like that. And uh, also, like to add, uh, there is about one inch, one and a half inch in from the edge. Uh, it actually the symbol actually flanges downward. I don't know if you can tell that, but it actually flanges downward, which is a pretty uh, unique uh, aspect of uh, of these symbols. Uh, if you're familiar with the Zildjian Earthride, uh, it's just like that, uh, but this has the machine hammering, whereas the Earthride was totally raw. Um, the bell is, I think, about five and a half inches, so decent sized bell. Uh, going back to the weight, uh, so I had no idea this was going to be this heavy, actually. Uh, the heaviest ride I had ever owned uh, is the Peisty Rude 24 uh, inch Mega Power Ride, uh, the John Dolmayan signature symbol. Uh, I have one of those here. Let me show you real quick. Just so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy right here. Big, beautiful symbol. Uh, and now that I hold this, uh, this is actually very light in my hands, which I, <laughs> which I used to think this was heavy. Uh, but yeah, the... 24 inch heavy power ride weighs about 1700 grams uh, more than that Peisty Rude. Uh, so, for us non metric people, uh, that's about three and three quarters pounds more this, this thing weighs. Uh, I will tell you that the symbol demonstration video you're about to see, uh, I put it on a symbol stand that didn't have a counterweight on it. And I actually had to kind of rig it up so that it wouldn't fall towards me. This thing is that heavy. And, uh, yeah. And the thing about the original Zs I want, also want to mention is um, because they have this raw sort of appearance, their appearance kind of differs from symbol to symbol. Even, I remember back in the 80s going to see these in the, in the drum shops. And even back then, you would find some that were uh, sort of lighter in color and, and maybe a bit shinier. And, and you have ones like this that, uh, all, although it's in, in, in good condition, uh, it's a little darker. It doesn't quite have the sheen that some of the other ones do. Uh, it has a tremendous stick definition, as you can imagine. Uh, the bell is piercing. Um, yeah, I, this one won't get lost in the, in the mix for sure. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm wanting to say, uh, I think maybe Tommy Aldridge used one of these back in the White Snake days of, uh, of the 80s. I was thinking that uh, Simon Phillips used one as well, uh, although I cannot find any information from uh, 1986 when the series started uh, through the 15th anniversary of Tommy, the, the Who tour that he did in 1989, which he did not use at, uh, one of these at that time. 
he was using the 22 inch K custom at that point. But uh, yeah, it's just it's a tremendous symbol, and and for me, who uh, grew up in that era, uh, I just I I had to have one once just see what it sounded like, and uh, just get it out of my system. 